Okay, so when we removed the uh, inner tube seal, we used the pipe from the outer end and it butted up against the inside of the seal. We drove it inward and when we did that, this was removed from the housing this way. So to reinstall uh, the seal, we're gonna need to get a socket that's gonna fit down in the recess of this seal. And we will drive it in from the opposite axle tube and uh, we'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. Okay, so once you've found a socket that fits the inside of your seal well, uh, you can place that inside the tube. And uh, one thing that I like to do on the inner tube seals is if you take your new seal with a little bit of silicone, Take and line the outside of your seal with the bead of silicone. And what this will do is this will ensure that you don't have any oil seep around the outside edge of your seal down the axle tube. Okay, so once you've lined the outside of the seal with uh, silicone, place it into your tube. And then use your socket inside the seal and slide the pipe down your axle tube. Once you've got it set up there, it's best if you have two people, you can have one person hold uh, this stuff in place inside and you can have someone else on the outside end of the tube tap it in for you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera and uh, we'll get another person here and we can show you how to tap this in. Okay, so now we're going to uh, tap this new seal in. Okay, so now that the seal's bottomed out in the machined recess in the housing, you repeat that process on the other side and you replace your inner tube seals. Okay, so once you've installed your first inner tube seal, you'll need to install the opposite side. Repeat the process that we did before, get your silicone around the outside of the seal, set it in the axle housing, and get your socket. Uh, now, this side is going to be a little different than the first side we did you're not going to be able to use as big of a uh, outside diameter sized pipe because you're going to need to go through the center of the tube seal you installed first and then uh, drive in the other seal so what I would recommend is that you start with the short side and that will help you so that you can make sure that you don't damage the lip of the seal sliding something in to do the long side <clears throat> um, so what we used is uh, we've got a bar here that we use to drive out races and seals and other things, but uh, this or a broom handle or anything that's going to fit, uh, you know, on your socket will work. So if you get your socket set back up, we'll repeat the process like we did before. Slide the inner, uh, slide your pipe through the inner tube seal that you've already installed. Be careful as you do so. Make sure it stays centered in the tube, and then have somebody help you tap. Uh, on the pipe and drive this other seal in and you'll be done. Okay, now that we've got our inner tube seal pressed in, you can see that the diameter of the seal has a silicone bead that we ran there and that the whole uh, seal is sitting flush in the housing. You don't want to have it crooked in any way. You want it to be flush in the axle tube. So if it looks like that, you should be good. And uh, once you've got the inner tube seals installed, you can go ahead and reinstall the carrier and the carrier caps uh, on the side that we marked. Make sure you put them on the right sides and uh, refill it with differential fluid once you get the axle shafts put back in.